Meanwhile, clinical trials for COVID-19 vaccine co-developed by Singapore scientists and a US pharmaceutical firm are about to begin. The trial will be conducted at the Singh Health Investigational Medicine Unit located in the Singapore General Hospital. Over 150 healthy volunteers of different ages are expected to take part in the early phase clinical trial. To ensure their safety, a stringent regulatory and ethics approval process has been put in place. So far, we have more than 250 uh, people who have uh, come forward and uh, expressed interest to take part. But um, not everyone eventually will come for screening and uh, even for those who come for screening, not everybody will eventually qualify to be enrolled into the study. So we are uh, still on the lookout for more uh, volunteers. The Singh Health Investigational Medicine Unit, which is administering the trial, took the Straits Times on a walkthrough earlier today of what volunteers can expect. We are joined now by science correspondent Audrey Tan, who is at Singapore General Hospital, to tell us more. Welcome, Audrey. Now, let's get straight into it. What did you find out during the tour and how was the experience like? Hi, yes. So there are multiple stages involved in the whole vaccine trial, which is expected to last until this October. And volunteers will not be expected to make any hospital stays throughout this entire trial. It's only just outpatient visits. And so one of the first stages would be that um, volunteers will be given a briefing and researchers would have to obtain their informed consent before they actually commence anything else. And uh, the, the reason for this is because the volunteers would need to be briefed on uh, what, the, what is expected of them during the entire trial, as well as what are potential side effects that they may experience. And they are given some time to think about whether or not they want to consent. Once consent has been given, the researchers would then proceed to screen the volunteers. So this screening process is what is going on um, right now. Researchers are still currently screening the volunteers that have come forward so far. And this procedure involves um, similar, similar things that you would expect during typical health checkups. So for example, volunteers would have their height and weight taken. They would go through an ECG. They would have uh, blood samples and urine samples taken. And time is needed to analyze all these samples um, before researchers can determine if if the volunteer who has stepped forward is eligible uh, to proceed. You know, and, and currently, we are currently at this stage of the trial in Singapore. The actual vaccinations are expected to start next week. And during this procedure, uh, volunteers or the subjects who are now involved in the trial will be given another medical checkup before the vaccination is given via an injection into their arm. And um, after this procedure is done, the volunteers will also be um, given uh, contact details um, of any medical professionals so that they are accessible 24-7. They will also be given a diary to lock down how they feel throughout the entire procedure. And they would also have to make a regular return visits to, to IMU so that researchers can continue taking down details about how they are proceeding so far. Right. Audrey, how significant uh, are these trials to get us closer to the end goal of a successful vaccine? So yes, everyone is very excited or looking forward to a vaccine for COVID-19 to, to be developed. And worldwide, there are many, many research groups uh, looking at developing different kinds of vaccines. And it's worth noting that you know, there are over 139 vaccines that are still at the preclinical stage, which means that they have not yet been tested in humans. And worldwide, there are only, I think, 25 or 26 vaccine candidates that have reached um, the stage of human trials. So the fact that the Singapore co-developed vaccine is at this stage, I think, is something that, that is significant. And uh, we will just have to monitor the process um, as, as the science develops and as the pros, uh, trial pros develops to see what, uh, what remains to be seen in the future. Right. Uh, well, thank you so much, uh, Audrey, for joining us. We've been speaking to science correspondent Audrey Tan on her first-hand experience visiting the lab.